What this uh, cockpit has in particular design inspiration is the space you have inside. Other vehicles you go in, inside of, particularly low down sports supercars, is a small cockpit. This does not have a small cockpit. It has a wide, large, airy cockpit. So you never feel claustrophobic. You never feel like you're lacking space. You're not urging to get out of the car. It's very comfortable, a lovely place to be. Um, and for someone else to be beside you enjoying that long journey or trip. The seats are incredibly comfortable for a supercar. Uh, most supercars have a really harsh, rigid ride. These seats are soft. They're, the leather on them is, is just beautifully designed and stitched that you just feel comfortable. You feel relaxed to do low or high mileage in this car, whether it be across the country, across Europe, or wherever you want to take this it can really travel the mileage. Okay, so we're inside the cockpit of the R8 and it's traditional inside. It's got uh, nicely stitched leather uh, throughout the car. Uh, a big, for its time, a big Audi Navigation Plus satellite navigation system, uh, MMI, multimedia interface. So inside the R8, you've got the traditional Audi R8 handbrake where you lift it up with the click, not like this modern uh, handbrakes where you just press a button. It's a real experience having to pull that handbrake up and seeing it here. Uh, people love the look, people love the design and there's something all special about pulling up, pulling the handbrake on when you get to that venue. As you can see the cockpit is very spacious uh, so I'm here now sitting comfortably inside the vehicle and you can see there's big shoulder space between myself and the colleague or, or co-pilot if you'd like uh, within the vehicle. Uh, the reason I highlight this is a lot of sports cars, you start getting more and more closer together, uh, less space for your own personal distance and, and environment, as well as sort of the, the overall uh, feeling within the size of the vehicle. You feel comfortable, you feel relaxed. You've got space for two uh, drinks holders as well as a thin can holder. Uh, selecting gears is easy, you slide right for neutral, back and right for reverse. Uh, in its natural state you're in neutral or if you go pop it over to the left you've got auto up and down for your gear shifts you also have paddle shifters behind the steering wheel uh, you can also select the volume up and down or slip, uh, go between tracks left and right up and down on the left hand side traditional horn push it in the middle and you've got a lovely traditional cockpit with the teardrop design uh, dials they look really awesome and seeing the Audi R8 badge just looks special every time you get in. You've got plenty of glove box compartment space. On this one you do have a glove box. Uh, and you also have some door bins right and left where you can store things like sunglasses if you wish to, uh, maybe a small umbrella. You've got space just behind the seats for things like jackets and coats. So if you're going to a meeting or coming from a meeting, just pop it behind the seat and away you go. You can see through the glass and mirror space uh, straight through for any oncoming traffic or if you're reversing, you can see just over your shoulder and you can also see your gorgeous engine bay right there. Thank you for watching this car review on the Audi R8 V8, one of the last ever original cars and hopefully we have many more uh, special occasions like this in the future. Hopefully the R8 stays a petrol engine. I'm a bit fearful it'll go to electric, but nonetheless a beautiful car. So thanks for watching, my name's Danny Neville and you're watching Your Next Car online, the best place to find your next car.